We're shooting, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Hello, everybody. Do you shoot now? Yeah. Hello, everybody. You look like an angel. Hello, my name is Theodor Dunas. So, hello, I'm uh, Ben Hodges. Your voice is Hi, uh, I'm Alex uh, Sigalas. So, I'm Martin Ruskov, I'm from Bulgaria. Hi, I'm Vladimir Petkov. Friends call me Kaladan. I'm the host for the Tosmi Trainers Workshop here in Thessaloniki. My involvement in uh, open source software started with Blender. In Tosmi, I'm uh, head for the first module, and it's about learning the basics of Blender. How to uh, represent stuff in three dimensions, how to model, how to animate, how to render, and finally, how to compose a final piece of 3D animation. I wanted a program that I would have access to the code so I could change it and do stuff that the original program couldn't handle. So this is how I chose Blender uh, to deal with uh, issues in architecture that uh, proprietary software couldn't uh, do. I wanted something that was simple efficient and uh, could help me think what I'm doing while I'm doing it. And uh, Blender, especially in the 3D graphics uh, part, was the perfect tool for this job. I like really much Blender because uh, it's uh, open source. This makes it really something that you could touch. It's like, like for people who like to tune their cars, you can tune Blender this way. And um, it's uh, something that uh, it's uh, really useful not only for artists, not only for engineers like developers, but also for uh, scientists. It's something that's kind of a universal software. I don't think I know any other software that's like that has these features and that has this power. Uh, so I went on. I learned Blender. I was actually a trainee at the last of me here, not here in Salonik, in Bulgaria. And uh, since then I've made a huge progress both in Blender, other open source software and uh, it's also improved my work and my way of producing stuff. Tosmi project is a, is a training project for professionals that want to change uh, their uh, pipeline from proprietary software to open source. And they want to learn really fast how to transfer their, their skills from uh, scripting in a proprietary platform to an open platform. Uh, in open source you are the master uh, and uh, you are the guy who create the things for yourself. Not, not use software for the in the way that they talked, uh, they told you. Uh, you can use it on the way that you wish. Wow. Okay. You have a very unique style of doing it. Yeah, it's like an American uh, flat.
the particular module that uh, that also the, the week that I'm working on is not just uh, Blender, it's also other open source tools, uh, different uh, things you can use to distribute uh, uh, video and audio online, like things like podcasting and uh, video casting. So it's really kind of an exciting moment that we're in now in that uh, the means of distribution are changing. You know, it's no longer just the state television or uh, centralized people have access to the means of production. I focus on the freedom, so this is much, much more important. You don't depend on people, you, you can help yourself. And uh, this, is, this is very important for a certain type of organizations. And uh, right now it, it, it becomes to be more and more important for even for big businesses to be independent from one technology provider or the services from one company. That there was several adoption waves of free and open source software. So first false free and open source software started to appear on servers. So this was the first wave. The second wave of free and open source software started to appear on the desktop and um, let's say on pro programs like Fi Firefox or OpenOffice and Linux and the desktop environment. So uh, FOSS was solving just just basic needs. And right now we are in. Let's, let's, let's call it the third wave. I, I think that multimedia is the next wave. And TOSMI uh, focuses on this. So um, it's one of the first trainings which focused on free and open source software tools for, mu for multimedia. And let's call them creativity tools. So that's why it's, in it's interesting and that's why it's important. So it's not something which you will find every day. And I think that it's a great opportunity because uh, you can't get anywhere, I think, I've, in my experience, all that kind of knowledge in so little time and uh, in such a nice atmosphere. Open source software is really for helping people and um, uh, trying to enhance their life. So th that's why a lot of people who are um, developing free and open source software or enhancing free and open source software or training other people to use free and open source software are a little bit more passionate uh, about this software and don't accept it like uh, like their job but something more like a challenge. It's uh, definitely something that people in the field would really appreciate. In this quest for sharing my knowledge, I joined up with the TOSMI team and uh, hope to see you in the summer to teach you some Blender stuff.